Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Hi, it's me, your friend Corey. Today to work on my circular poncho for something easy peasy and lemon squeezy. So glad you're here today. Let's get going. Let's do this. I need to, oh, sorry, my bad. Let's take a look here where we're at. So we still got a ways to go before I even start hitting blue. Now what I have been doing in the last few days is I've actually been doing a lot of filming and then when I'm done the filming on the days I'm not filming, I'm hitting one project at a time and I'm hitting them hard. Hard, hard, hard. By hard, I mean like doing a lot of work on them. Okay, that was not creepy at all. A bag just fell beside me that I just put over there of material. Two, three, four. I am starting my Christmas list. I'm trying to get a lot of this stuff done so I can get to my Christmas list and just go crazy. The kids want a lot. Not a lot of it is bought. Almost everything is something I have to make. Four. One, two, three, and four. And this is just a little, a little bit of something for me because this is my project for myself. I'm so selfish. Just kidding. There we go. These colors are just so beautiful. My first order from Hobie, I really, really was attracted to this particular yarn, but I was also concerned that it's not my usual color palette. You know what, quite frankly? It's nice to have something a little different. I can't wait to be wearing this one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice and easy. If I give myself an afternoon with like a movie or something, I could probably get most of this one done. But I have the other ones I'm working on. Yesterday was knitting. I did a ton of knitting. And I still have to do a bit more to finish the first panel. That's fine, though. I'm thinking I might actually have enough with just the one ball to do front and back panels. And then I can do the arms and the trim in my plain black. I think that'll go over really well. I think that'll look really nice and both yarns are very nice and soft. So, a Lion Brand Hobie uh, collaboration is coming up. And my son's going to absolutely love it. I'm loving how the, how the knitting is making the striping show up in the from the yarn very nicely because I've crocheted with the pink and white and I did not get those kind of lines and ah it's quite interesting and this is looking great two three four Yeah, and there we are. 
I'm going to have to ice my lower back soon. Two, three, four. So even though my wrist is feeling a lot better, it is still very, very weak. I can take off the brace for a little bit, but crocheting is definitely not on the list of things I should do without my brace because I have got close to really hurting it so I'm playing it safe. I wear it when I'm doing anything that might bend it the wrong way including sleeping because that especially is a very risky situation. And just a little more. One, two, three, four. I think I'm going to have to make a few more of these. I really like how they work up. Not necessarily in uh, more in this particular type of yarn. Because I'd have to charge a bit. This does take a bit. But to be fair, I've already finished it. And I was unhappy with my end result because of my own mistakes. So now I'm paying for it. But I couldn't. I just couldn't. I knew I would never put it on. I know that there's flaws like that. And by flaws, I mean a couple of these were five instead of four. And they are quite noticeable. Look like I caught it on something. And stretched just a couple of them out. And of course, they were on the front. If they'd been on the back, I would have been fine. But because I could see them... I stretched across my stomach. I wasn't too crazy. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, just one second here. Okay, I'm back. Turned out my second cup of coffee was ready. And my tiniest child decided she wanted to be in here while you film. So she's over there with headphones on watching uh, preschool shows on Disney+. Two, three, four. I believe she's watching Spider-Man. She was a few months ago. Goodness me. A little bit of overheating here. I'm just going to have a little seat here. I've been standing for part of this video. But I should be able to sit. Wait, wait. Three, four. Standing, sitting, standing, sitting. Just trying to get my back and my legs a gentle gentleness to getting back into working condition and that's just something that's always worked for me so I'll stand up and I'll wiggle my toes and I will scrunch them up on the carpet in my socks two three four standing about shoulder width apart and that makes my hips spread a little and not in a bad way as in just the tension in my muscles really relaxes. So it's kind of almost like giving myself a little bit of a massage without massaging. Two, three, and four. Sorry about bumping that, that was my arm. Still trying to get used to working with the brace on. Like it's comfortable. My mom grabbed some off Timu that are brand new. They're a little thinner. But they do have the metal and the plastic piece in there, and they are washable, and she's had these ones a good five years. So I am picking them over until my hand is better, or until I don't need them anymore. I wore both of them yesterday just because I wanted to be sure if I was pulling my mom's shopping cart 
with all our books from the library. I wanted to be sure I didn't hurt both my wrists because that would be my luck. Something silly like that would just pull my other wrist out and both my wrists would be messed up. That guy Murphy, not my friend, out to get me constantly. I mean, just look at this beautiful color palette. I'm just going to lift that so you can admire how beautiful that is. Three and four. I'm going to slip into here and do it all over again. I love this pattern. I love the medallion I made in the middle. One, two, three, four. It's one of my first some very successful times reading a pattern, like a diagram, because it was kind of in words, just to cross-reference, but for the most part, it was all on a diagram, which is fine. I'm happy about that. It'll give me more opportunities to open up my world of what kind of patterns I can do, which is, of course... Part of this is to become better. I would never want to be at a point where I feel like I don't have any way to improve. That would be boring. One, two, three, four. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Two, three, and four. Oh boy. I'm feeling very warm right now. And this is a long weekend. November 11th is a day of remembrance of all of our fallen soldiers. And it's a very somber day, and it is a very important day to pay homage to sacrifices. Given in war, and peace times too. There have been a few times where people, where we've had peacekeeping situations and we've lost soldiers. And then down here, one, two, three, four, beauty, 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 one, two, three, four. And there we go. Just love the way these colors just play together. And the yellow, yellow is definitely not in my go-to. But I'm starting to get a little bit more of a love for it, just like orange. Orange all of a sudden has just become a wow color for me. I've seen it in a few projects where I'm like, wow, that orange jumped out, bit my face, and told me that it loved me. And I enjoyed it. Oh, probably because they're mostly uh, Halloween stuff. One, two, three, four. So, for fun, my daughters and I have been watching compilations of TikTok crochet TikToks. Two, three, four. Now, some of them get a little repetitive, some of them aren't that great, and then you get the ones where I'm just... <laughs> Unsure if it's me that has a problem or I just I don't know. I, I think maybe it was because I was watching it with my kids that it kind of hit me wrong. But a couple projects and what they did was they used a male's um, private area and turned it into something that was supposed to be cute. 
Now I'm sitting here with my young girls watching this going, oh no. So I skipped over and of course they have a thousand questions of why I'm skipping over to pick that one. Three and four. So one lady turned it into a super cute Frankenstein. Three and four. I'm not offended by that. I'm just kind of not impressed that it was in this video that didn't have any sort of warning. No, I'm not a prude. I have no problem with that whole thing. I know lots of people like to make these pieces, and that's great. Good for you. Two, three, four. I don't see myself making them. It's not something I think I want to. Three and four. I'm just a little bit like, oh, well, it was in a video that I was trying to show my young kids. And everything else was totally fine, but those couple things I was a little bit like, uh, should I should I make a big deal out of it? Should I not? Three, four. But again, art is subjective. Three, four. If you want to make 35 pillows and they all shape like that, fine. Do you do what you need to do? I'm sure I've done a lot of stuff that a lot of people are just like, ugh, why? Or that looks really bad. And that's fine. I guess for me, more than anything, it wasn't exactly because of that. It was because my kids were in the room. <sighs> so I'm not offended. Just more like oopsie. The other day I fell asleep with YouTube playing and it was playing a gaming video of a totally safe game. When I woke up, my daughter was watching a horror game from a person I never watch. So I was a little taken aback by that. That was a little more offensive to me because I don't know exactly what she was watching. I just realized right away that it was not a happy-go-lucky video. One, two, three, four. So, you know, stuff happens. Three, four. My mom was saying when I was like three or four, I watched the Halloween movie. That explains to me why I'm so scared of Michael Myers. Babysitter let me watch it. Good times. Anyways. Oh, such beauty. She's beauty. She's grace. She is stunning and in your face. Anyways. Thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!